Experienced SolidWorks users can take comfort in the fact that the interface for 2010 isn't drastically different from the previous year, but there are a few new interesting things I'd like to go through here that you might not notice at first glance. You can now launch shortcut commands by using a technique called mouse gestures. To activate a mouse gesture, simply hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse a small amount in any direction. Here you can see an icon in eight different directions in the circle. To make a selection, continue to hold down the right mouse button and move the cursor over one of the icons. The commands triggered by performing a mouse gesture depend on what mode you're in in SOLIDWORKS. Here in Edit Part or Assembly Mode, I can activate the view manipulation icons. Notice by default that I can switch to a top view by gesturing to the top of the wheel, or a right view by moving right. The left view is on the left, and the bottom view on the bottom. This makes it easier to remember so you can switch views without really having to look at which icon is which on the wheel. If you're in Edit Sketch mode, the Mouse Gesture menu allows you to quickly launch the common sketch tools. My personal favorite use of mouse gestures is with the dimension icon in sketch mode. A quick right button and motion up with the mouse activates the dimension tool so I can quickly add dimensions to sketches. And finally in drawing mode, performing a mouse gesture activates some common drawing and annotation tools. Once again, the smart dimension tool is located on the top of the mouse gestures wheel. Once you start using this tool more and more, you'll start to memorize positions of each icon, and selecting them will become second nature. If you don't find yourself memorizing the default mouse gesture icons, or would find other icons more useful, you can customize which icons are available on each wheel. To do this, select Customize under the Options icon, and then go to the Mouse Gestures tab. First, I'd like to point out that I have the option to use either the full eight gestures or I can reduce it to four gestures. If you use mouse gestures often, you might want all eight, but if you only use them rarely, you can set the number of possible gestures to four for simplicity. Here I have a list of all the commands available to be included in each mouse gesture. The options at the top help in the sorting and searching of commands included in the long list below. If I sort the list by what is on the part menu, you will see icons representing which direction belongs to each icon. I can go through the list and use the drop-downs to set any command to any of the four menus. While we're on the subject of customization, I'd also like to point out that SOLIDWORKS 2010 lets you fully customize the heads-up display in the graphics area. To add or remove icons, go to the Commands tab and drag and drop any icon into the toolbar. Notice I can even add flyout toolbars to better organize the space available. Also, it's now possible to scroll through the Command Manager tabs. If I hover the cursor over the Command Manager, I can use the mouse wheel to scroll through the different tabs. One quick tip before wrapping up. You can switch to a normal 2 view without having to select a face, plane, or feature as a reference. You can do this either by activating the normal 2 view icon from the Heads Up toolbar or from the Spacebar view menu or by pressing Ctrl plus 8 on your keyboard. If you don't have anything selected, the view will become normal to the nearest default reference plane. Of course, you can still select a face or feature, and using the normal 2 command will switch the view so that you're looking directly at that face or feature. 